Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we went to the Islet of Steel and got ourselves another uh, Triforce chart. We did a little sliding puzzle and we also got an upgrade for our arrows. And now we're going to be heading off to the reef that you see in front of you to do more destruction. Hooray. <laughs> Uh, we're also going to be getting treasure chart number 38 queued up on the gamepad. Do I have that open? No, I don't. Because in the corner, yeah, as you can see, there is a treasure right there. So let's just... Yeah, I'm zooming past it because it's like, the way the map is, it just doesn't show it properly. Uh, you know what? Let's just get rid of this guy. Oh, not even giving us a uh, thingy. Okay, fine. Let's... It's like right at the entrance. It's weird. Here we are. And from sunken number 38 we get... Another piece of heart! Yeah, this is number 32, so we get another heart container. Wow, we have a lot already. And now it's time to speed up and destroy things! Woo! That one guy just slowly... Slowly runs away from us. Come here! Who's a good boy? There you are! <laughs> and... Speed more. And that's it! Get another fancy schmancy treasure up there. Also, uh, I should probably find the map fish. Is he around here? He's over there. Eh, let's go get the map fish and then we'll get the treasure. That's the wrong button, but it did stop me, so I guess it worked. Hi. Yeah. Gotta open up the sea chart. And we have the three eye reef. If you notice, the eye reefs all look like dice. Dies. Dice. Yeah, that's just how it works. I met a really weird guy on, this, on the island due east of here. I had a pack on his back huger than any pack I ever seen. I mean, it was B I G, fry. He said he was looking for treasure, but what does he expect to find in a place like that? I tell you, the guy is completely obsessed. Yeah, he was on Great Fish, and it was the Goron, and we've dealt with them already. Let's let's not sail away from the island before getting the treasure. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me, lads. And get off over here. And totally remember where the, uh, get up there. Totally remember where the treasure spot spawned over there, so let's go all the way around. Yeah, some of these make you actually have to work. Oh my gosh. Let's roll ourselves, and if you fall, you have to hopefully swim your way back and start all over. So don't fall. Now that I've said that, I'm probably going to roll off a cliff. Problem is when you're rolling and you try to correct yourself because you see yourself about to crane off the cliff, you usually go at bad angles and bad things happen. Whoop. See, I almost did it as I was turning the corner there. I think the only the only height uh, to get to that treasure chest is from that little mountain up over there, so you have to come here. Hopefully the treasure we get is worth it, or the treasure that we get from the treasure as it is. The nice thing about doing this in the same recording session is that uh, we don't have to see the uh, animation again. And we get...
Treasure chart number 32. So let's let's just make this easy on ourselves and fly over to the uh That's not what I wanted to do. I somehow confused myself. There we go. Fly fly ourselves over to the uh entrance. I mean technically you could probably just fly back there and then run around, but this is faster. <laughs> this is much faster. Flying is ju just faster. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I just wanted to be cool for once, game. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go to A2 now, which is north. so nice having the swift sail in this game, goodness gracious. It, it just, like everything, is just so much faster. Let's get ourselves out some more bait. I already bought a bazillion baits just for this occasion, because I knew we were going to be going everywhere. Uh, let's also queue up treasure chart 41. Which is actually going to be inside of that... Uh, reef over there. I like that uh, Forsaken Fortress is off in the distance, just like a lot of the landmarks in this game. There's Mother and Child Isle over there. I just love that they put, like, low resolution uh, you know, uh, models so that you can keep your bearings even if you're not technically looking at your map. Uh, but yeah, we got another reef. We also have explosive barrels, so that's fun. Hi. Yeah. So surprise, this is also going to be an eyed reef. In fact, it is the four eye reef. And uh, the treasure, uh, treasure number forty-one is inside of it, as I said. See those weird rings of light that appear on the surface of the sea, haven't you, small fry? You know that some of those rings only appear at night? Didn't think so. That's all the info I got. Thanks. Anyway, let's get ourselves inside. You can kind of see the light before right before we got too close. I'm probably going to go for it before I start destroying the uh, monsters inside just because it can be really annoying to spend the whole time listening to the... Wow, there's a lot of little treasures in here. Neat. That's kind of... This is kind of like a distraction almost. I don't even know if these are worth it or not. I don't remember. Like, not that it's not worth it to pick it up, but you know, you get like you know, 15 to 20 seconds for the uh, animation and that, you know, just time consuming. Also, this is like right next to where the treasure is. Like, we just have to move up a little bit and we get, we get the sunken treasure uh, from 41. I'm assuming it's in the bubble ruby. Yeah, okay. Ah, that's, that's kind of worth it, I guess. Get 200 rupees total out of this. Just completely ignoring the bombs flying around us and just, just salvaging stuff. Like, we don't have a care in the world. And anyway, from tre Sunken Treasure 41, you get the Great Fairy chart, which shows you where the Great Fairies are. Unfortunately, we've gotten, like, most of them. Like, we're missing maybe one. Also, the uh, seawater doesn't, like, the pattern of the sea doesn't really move here, so you can kind of tell where all of the treasures are based on what little circle of foam is around it. So it's pretty good. Uh, I usually just ignore these things, but, you know, if we're going to be getting, like, 300 rupees out of this, we may as well, you know? Like I said, we are, we are definitely going to need the money. And these guys, these guys are just a little bit of a joke. And our treasure's up there, so these guys will stop uh, annoying us while we get this, while I jump out of the boat. While we get this one last one. I think it's the last one, maybe. There's like 
three over here. <laughs> the game has to chill. As far as I know, you can get the sunken treasures without having the maps, it just doesn't tell you when you're close. So it's possible that you can just memorize the exact location of everything, although I feel like that that'll just make everything take longer. Um, yeah, we got a nice amount of money out of that. And we also have a treasure to find. Uh, oh, it's right on that platform, okay. Uh, can we fly to it from here? I think so. Okay, I, I think we can make this. I don't think we have to go all the way around if we just hit the corner here. Ah, all right. All right, plan B. Instead of walking all the way around, we are going to fly over to that corner. Come on, Link. Come on. You could do it, little guy. So we can definitely make this. And just expedite expedite everything else around us. Come on, come on. There we go. Just made it. And we get a treasure chart. This is number 19. Hooray! Uh, okay, now we are going to get ourselves back to the forest haven. Uh, grid F6. Because there's a treasure for us to get, a sunken treasure for us to get there too. Forest Haven is there. We're gonna kind of work our way around from uh, from the bottom of the map, bottom of the map uh, along the G row now. Doctor G row? No. Uh, so let's see. I believe it is around this way. There it is. It was not around the way that I thought, but it's all the same. And here, this is uh, the sunken treasure uh, chart that you get from showing uh, Camo the full moon picture, by the way. And you get a piece of horse, it's number 33. And next up, we're going to head to G7. Which I think we've already, yeah, we already uh, used the map fish on, but uh, we didn't really do much else there. Or we did, we did uh, stuff with the island itself, but uh, we're just gonna be in the far corner, and there is sunken treasure number thirty-three over here by the five-star isles over there. Yeah, all the way. All the way in the middle of nowhere. Mapfish is just going nuts. Look at those jumps. I was just hiding right behind the pillar there. Okay. And over here we get... This is where we had to fight all those stupid cargo rocks that had sinking feathers. Yet another piece of heart. This is number 34. Awesome. Uh, you can fight those enemies. Okay, sir, I don't really care about you guys, actually. Uh, so we're gonna go north. One grid. And, uh, get ourselves over to... Uh... 
I don't know which I don't know which of the areas off in the distance are the one that we're supposed to be aiming for. There's a platform over there. I guess it's this. Yeah, it's kind of on the north side of the grid. Well, let's ask uh, Mapfish what this is, though. Mapfish will stop jumping around all over the place. Like, come on, dude, calm down. And this will actually be a place. Hi! Yeah, yeah. There's, there's actual there's actual stuff here, not just like bombing everything. This is the Cliff Plateau Isles. Hey, small fry, you know about the Nintendo Gallery? Yes, I don't care about it. We've we we talked about this, but thank you. Where'd the island go? There you are. I didn't lose the island. You did. So yeah, step one is trying to figure out how to get onto it. <laughs> Gonna kind of be trapezing all over the place here. Also, we are very low on magic. I think there is going to be more for us to do once we get some ability to get onto the upper part of the island there, but. Uh, either either this hole will lead there, or there's another way to get there, but we'll see, I guess. Anyway, let's head inside. Same, though. Same, though. Yeah, there's a whole area in here. And, uh, it's a interesting puzzle. Uh, essentially, you have to use the leaf to uh, blow these things around and try to get across stuffs. Um, or just try to fly around, I guess, and bounce off things because the game doesn't like you. I can't remember if there's an actual puzzle to this or the game just wants you to try to get yourself across or something. I feel like there's an actual puzzle to this. Yeah, I remember you guys. I got a big sword now, what do you got? Nothing. You got nothing. That's just a regular thing. Ow. I should have expected that. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll play your game. Anything else over here? Da, 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 da. Oh, I was like, what, did, did he just eat me after I died? After he died? No, 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 no. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is just fall down and get this chest, because... Get this chest. Is this just gonna make all this stuff go away? Oh boy, a joy pennant! Yay, it all went, or mo most of it went away. The important parts went away. We're just like, <laughs> gonna ignore those things. Um, I was about to say, okay, how do I get a Deku stick up to this? And, and what are the logistics of trying to get everything going over there? And I have, I have fire arrows. I have, I have fire arrows. We're good. <laughs> yeah, this, this gets us to the top of the island. And another one of these guys, which, that's going to be really annoying for the side quest, unless there's a faster way to do this that I don't, can't think of, but anyway, we get a chest up here. Yeah, spoilers, it's going to be a side quest to help out all the Koroks. And it's timed! Anyway, we hit a treasure chart. This is number 25. Oh, hi. Um... Got another one of these dudes. Uh, yeah, we have enough to make blue potion now, so that's cool. Uh, and I think we are going to end off the episode here. So next time on the Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker HD, we are going to continue heading up the uh, 
row of G uh, type things here. And then we're going to be talking to Tingle. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Everything's withering. Oh my god. We need forest water. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. It's been several till four, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.